guys this is Kuldeep um, today in this video I am going to deploy GitLab CI CD on Google Kubernetes engine but before we start this process we need to make sure we have a Gmail account create GitLab account as well as uh, Google Cloud Platform, uh, Platform account so first of all uh, to deploy this task we need to log in into GitLab account. So I am I am already logged in in this account, so I log I sign out this video and try to log in back again using my ID. And password. Now. I have successfully logged in in my GitLab account. So to start this process, we need to make sure we have one project. If we don't have project, we just click new project to create a new project. So we have to name this project. Suppose my project name would be Kuldeep dot GitLab. Once we fill this information, then just click create a project. Just click on it. So by doing this, my project has been created. So also uh, we need to also make sure we have uh, uh, we have we have an account. Uh, on Google platform Google Cloud platform so I have already logged in in my Google Cloud platforms so I have to sign in out now I am trying trying to sign in again using my password It takes a few minutes. It is browsing. Uh, here it is. So let me check my project name first in Google Cloud Platform. So this is my project information my first project name is my pro my first project and uh, if you take a look at the api level you can see there are, there is a uh, graph running over there and billing information also you could find it over here billing estimated charges and all so let's get it started our first gitlab ci cd task on google Kubernetes engine. So before we deploy this task, we would have some prerequisites. So what would be the prerequisite? Here. First, we would have GitLab account with user condition, which we have already created. And another one is Google Cloud account, which we have already done and one project need to be created on our google cloud platform which i have uh, uh, show, showed you just before, just a moment ago so on the google cloud project we need to enable two main important things first kubernetes api for this project Another thing is billing API for this project. So let's get it started. How can we deploy this task? So this is the project we just have created kuldeep.gitlab. So in the operation sections, we have to go into Kubernetes. 
here you will see some screen add kubernetes cursor so just click on it so here you would see two important things if we have already cluster created on google cloud platform we need to just click on it so there are two things if we have already cluster created on google cloud platform just click on it and follow these steps but in this video i am not going to cover this section suppose we don't have a cluster so we would need to create a new one so, so just click on it and here you would find some informations like kubernetes cluster names your project names and zones and number of nodes and blah 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 so let's give a name to our cluster so what would be my cluster name deep dot watch this is my cluster name and here we need to choose our project name which we have just created on google cloud platform so make sure before choosing this uh, project name the api billing api should be enabled on the google cloud platform so i would like to choose my first project and that's it and it it already uh, it has already taken some default informations so if you talk about the zone central zones and there are many zones you can choose according to your requirement but i would choose default zone and number of nodes it is depends on you how much nodes you would like to create i would like to take the default three and machine type would be n1 standard 2 and i would like also enable to enable cloud run on on us for load balancing just click on it and create cluster so just click on it now the cluster is being created if you take a look what is happening on our google cloud platform just check it out go into cluster engine section and click on clusters it is up it is being created so i think it may take a few minutes is still being created If we, touch, if we take a look at the Google Cloud platform, we see here the cluster is being reflecting and it is ready to go to be created.
now it has been created wow great job but it is still showing up it is being created i think it is fetching some informations yeah so the cluster now has been successfully created on cloud platform if we take a look at the blog and come down we followed all the instructions all the structure instructions as per this block so if we take a look at the health section cluster it is not showing up health because we need to install this package prometheus so in application section we sign we find some informations we find some packages that are necessary to be installed on our kubernetes cluster on google cloud platform so first as per the blog we need to install this pillar this pillar is very important because it is package manager to install packages on kubernetes cluster now it has been installed we also need to install gitlab runner this package is also very important to execute ci cd job in kubernetes cluster environment may take few minutes now it has been installed let's take a look in our kubernetes cluster so our kubernetes cluster has been done with required package so we need to connect this cluster using the connect option if we take a look at this site just click on it here we find some informations so just copy it and click on run in cloud shell all otherwise you can click over here if you want this would be open up in new tab so we have successfully logged in into this cluster so let's see what are in it here we find some informations like dot q dot docker dot cache dot t er dot yarn directory so
just copy and paste this command over here. I am going to copy let me copy we before we execute this command just go into this directory and execute this command now it returns some informations patching clutcher endpoint and our data and kuber config entry generated for this account now now if we take a look the cluster informations just execute this command hit enter so it returns some useful informations like cluster binet cluster master is running on this api 35.194.19.213 and heapster informations and cube dns and matrix servers and glec default backend api and all so so this was the process how we can integrate GitLab CI CD with Google Kubernetes engine. So also we have to do some more things in GitLab. Just go into GitLab account and in settings section we find CI CD. Just click on it. And there are some there are some useful information like general pipelines, auto DevOps runners, variables, deploy tokens, keys, pipelines, triggers, and all. So if we take a look at the general pipelines, just click expand and we find some useful informations. Useful informations like GitLab clone and GitLab patch. This is the default. GitLab 50 shallow clones and timeout hours and this is the file this is the file it need to be created when the pipeline has been set it up dot gitlab iphone ci dot ymi and if we go down just click on it Just click on collapse and there is one more option auto devops this options is very important to automatically build tests and deploy and applications in continuous deployment or integrations so we need to also enable this option And click on it save changes that's it so if we take a look at our Kubernetes clutcher here it is One more thing, if we want to specify our base domain name, we can specify here and just save the changes. But today we are not going to cover this section as per 
this section is basically required as per the developer so this was what this option was saying now take a look at the kubernetes cluster we have already integrated this cluster to our gitlab repository so just click on close to close this terminal so this is the process how we can set it up gitlab in kubernetes cluster on google cloud platforms thank you for watching this video